Hello, this is Carrie Fell. Welcome to my studio. So I'm sitting here and uh, twisting my fringes. I'm all done now, but I was uh, yeah, watching some YouTube videos and Netflix and uh, working on my fringes. And in the manipulation of this blanket, this is one of my stash busting blankets, um, I noticed a bit of a bit of a floofy mess. And uh, at closer examination, I see that I have a knot. And this knot is in the weft. And I can't, for the life of me, figure out um, how I missed that in the weaving. So it just came off the uh, bobbin as I was weaving, and I didn't even see it, um, you know, as I went. And I just wove right past it. So this was a bit of a ball when I discovered it. I kind of picked at it and see that there are two ends and it's just a knot. So there's a couple ways of uh, fixing this and I'm gonna try uh, the easy way first. This can't stay. We can't have knots in the weft. Even if I trim it very closely, the knot will probably come undone and then that will give me a hole um, in the weaving after I I wash it. So this hasn't been wet finished, so this is the perfect time to do the fixing. So uh, the, the first way of doing it, uh, the first attempt, we'll see if it works, is to untie that knot and then I'm going to sew it um, in so it's overlapping just as if I'd overlapped it in the weaving process. So I'm just going to go find a needle and pick open this knot and we'll see if it's a, a typical knot or if it's one of those funny ones where they do not some of the plies and then, uh, yeah. So let me go find something to open up this, this knot. So I found a little tapestry needle. It's a little blunter than a sewing needle, not super pointy there. Uh, I don't want to pick apart the plies of the yarn. I just want to open up the knot. There we go. We've got two ends. And yes, it came undone nicely. Okay. So I won't have to do the uh, the other repair, which was would be to find the, the weft yarn and uh, sew in a piece a few inches long that covers open that covers that hole and then snips snip the ends. And then I, I would have two overlapping areas. This way I'm, I can uh, just use what I have here and sew them, them in following the proper weave and then I'm done with it. So I need an, another needle now that's uh, just a little bit thicker, uh, a uh, bodkin, a darning needle, something like that. I dropped that one on the floor somewhere. Where's my magnet when I need it? I'm going to do this short one first. So what I need to do is find the weave, find the line it is. It's this one here. And I need to figure out the over under sequence for it. So what I'm doing is I'm is I'm comparing this line here that it's coming from with its predecessor over here to see where where the yarn falls and this is the bottom of this diamond so we're looking at the bottom of this diamond it's this row here so it goes over 3 under 2 over two, picking up this one here on this side. So over these three threads, under two, over two, under three. So I'm just following the thread there. Once I've got it, I 
good distance. Oh, that's sliding off the table. Here we go. Then I can take this yarn, feed it through the, the eye, and pull it through. There we go. Now running parallel to this one. It doesn't have enough of an overlap for me. Yeah, I want to overlap it some more so that uh, there's a good long overlap and then if any of it works out, uh, like works its way out in the wet finishing process, um, then I can trim it. So now I want to work this end back in and it's the same thing. It goes over three. I'm now following this, this little line here that's already there. So I've worked it through in the pattern. I'll feed this end through. Like that. And I'll pull it through. I won't pull it too tight because you want it to settle in place in the finishing. We have this area that's overlapped. We have a double thread, just as if I had overlapped it in the weaving process. And uh, I can leave this sticking out a little bit and we will just wet finish it and that will not even be noticeable at all. So just to be sure, I have this area here where I did the repair and I'm just gonna flip it over and make sure that from the back side it's also not visible just to make sure I caught all the threads that I was supposed to. So I'm having trouble finding it. Here we go. So there's the double there over area here and it seems to be catching, following the pattern nicely. Nothing looks out of place. I've gone over and under the correct threads. So looking at it on both sides, it looks like a good repair.